we as a whole love quick wagons. Their mix of common sense and execution scratch is a tingle for the majority of us here at Autoblog. What other vehicle available can convey a group of four alongside all their baggage and still hit 60 miles per hour in less than four seconds and a best speed near 200 miles per hour? These are supercars wrapped in a family accommodating bundle. The 2018 Panama Turbo Sport Turismo is an especially bonkers wagon. It's fueled by a twin turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 and sends energy to every one of the four wheels through Porsche's initial 8-speed double-grip transmission. Standard gear incorporates versatile air suspension, LED lighting, 14-way control movable seats, a Bose sound framework, an all-encompassing moonroof and an advanced instrument group with an inside-mounted simple tachometer. Our test auto is stacked up with about $15,000 worth of additional treats. The auto has raised wheel directing, Porsche dynamic chassis control and the Sport Chrono bundle. For solace and accommodation, this Panamera is furnished with ventilated seats, raised situate window blinds, delicate close-in trainways and a warmed guiding wheel. It's not shoddy by any extent, but rather a non-turbo sport tourist can be had for $50,000 less. Senior Editor, Green John Belt Snyder, it's a wagon, however it is irrefutably a Porsche. Indeed, it's not as drawing in as a 911, but rather it has the look, feel and sound of German execution as it goes not far off. You put your foot to the floor, and this thing thunders to life. Movements come rapidly, regardless of whether the auto is left to its own particular gadgets or on the off chance that you bring matters into your own hands with the strong inclination paddle shifters on the back of the wheel. One cool component is the little catch in the focal point of the drive mode dial. Press it, and you have 20 seconds of game response where the auto holds higher revs and is prepared to speed past loafers on the roadway before consequently returning to a more casual driving style. The inside is somewhat more refined than that of the previous few Porsches I've driven. Controls are significantly more digitized, and there aren't heaps of dead catches everywhere throughout the middle reassure to make me crazy. While despite everything you get a touch of that incredible fume sound, it's a ton calmer, you won't not hear it over your podcast. The ride is smooth, as well. Indeed, even with the suspension in Sport Plus mode, it's as yet a comfortable, refined affair inside the auto. Relate Editor Reese counts, this is a major auto. Huge. Porsche has completed a great occupation of influencing it to shrivel around you similarly Mercedes-Benz does with the S-Class or the BMW with the 7 Series, yet it's as yet a forcing machine. All things considered, I wouldn't fret the size. There's something about a major, agreeable auto with the core of a lion that interests to some essential impulse inside me. All I need to do is crush the correct pedal and influence vroom to vroom commotions with the huge V8. The Panamera Turbo Sport Turismo is awesome from in the driver's seat. The guiding is sharp and exact, the ride is firm yet consistent, and the motor and transmission work with consummate exactness. Like John stated, left to its own particular gadgets the 8-speed PDK appears to realize what outfit you need or should be in before you do. It's damn snappy, as well. There's little dramatization when you pound the gas. It just goes and goes and goes. When it's set, it requests that you dunk into the throttle once more. The greatest bummer for me with the auto is the outside outline. I very appreciate the inside it's spotless and uses a ton of decent materials however the outside doesn't exactly do it for me. It resembles Porsche took the 911 and endeavored to extend and twist it into the state of a wagon. It doesn't exactly work. I wish Porsche would quit influencing everything hope to like a 911. Take a gander at exemplary models like the 928, 944 or 914. Get some assortment. All things considered, regardless I adore it.